Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. Hey, what's up? It's me, LA. Pronounced like LA, like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. It is the last day of February. That means it's February 28th on a Monday, 7.28 a.m. to be exact. And it is, thank God, the last day of Black History Month. And it is the year 2022. I think I was first introduced to Black History Month, of course, probably in pre-K, but I didn't pay attention to it until, let's just say, my third grade year. So let's just say from late 1992 to 1993, all the way up to right now, which is 2022, let's say 37, 38 years now, and I still don't like black history month um i still feel some type of way about it even though looking on good morning america today they did show an african-american family whose two sons two or three sons who have um created their own candle line and are now well, they have evolved now from making their own candles from out of their kitchen into having their own warehouse. I'm thankful for that. And I've been seeing more um, stories like that about our people finally becoming entrepreneurs. Um, I'll try to keep this as centered as possible. Um, let's just say for the, the past three to four years, I've been seeing more videos and acknowledgments about the African-American people being entrepreneurs. Yay! But we already were and always have been that. Uh, So I honestly don't know what the big dang deal is about um, it being such a thing now. And I'm saying thing using air quotes because once again, for lack of a better example, but an example that everyone can relate to from 55 66 77 99 until 105 the black wall street i mean dang we've been independent obviously so what does what does and what is the hoopla all about with us (laughs) owning our own it's quite obvious we know how to do it we may need a hand in getting through to get it but that doesn't um swindle the fact that we are capable of owning and having our own even through the obstacles of confusion even through the obstacles of lacking the knowledge ha even lacking comprehensive skills on retaining the information that's given to us so we can successfully completely and safely file the paperwork to declare our business skills and XYZs. Even beyond that notion, you know? So it's like America is so behind when celebrating us, but I'm not gonna put that on the shoulders of America. I'm just gonna put it on the shoulders of African American people. Like, where have you been all this time? We've been doing this. What are you looking for validation through America for to show that we are cool? It's obvious. It's obvious. It's bigger and more than the white elephant in the room we are. Everything we are has been taken and mimicked and called their own. So take that in knowing that we've got what it takes, even though we may be confused on how to do it, just keep looking for those answers. Black History Month doesn't serve any purpose to me. It used to make me angry because it's like, why are they celebrating something from the past like that? Oh yeah, because we're not supposed to forget where we come from, but I I don't think we've forgotten where we come from. The thing is, we've all grown collectively restless <laughs> with not seeing anything as epic as what my parents got to experience. We haven't got to see anything epic for our time and now our children's time. And eventually, unfortunately, maybe our children's children's time. That's about it. 
it's no different from people who um seen signs and miracles in the bible whales falling out of the, the sky <laughs> water returns into wine um you know all that great stuff burning bush xyz we haven't seen any divine miracles in our day that we can actually validate in unison to say that Capitucci OD does exist. <laughs> yes, we know in our spirits, in our souls, in our hearts, in our cores that the Lord is here and ever present, dead or alive. God is there. But we want to see things too. It's kind of not fair. Ha! <laughs> you know, it's not. All we get at the end is just believe. I mean, can't you give us something else? Thunderstorms don't count. <laughs> Floods and earthquakes do not count. Rainbows don't count anymore now because we hardly see them anyways. <laughs> it's so it's so much smog in the world and noise pollution. We don't need something else. You know, as we grow older and evolve as a people, collectively, no matter what race you are, so does our thinking and our thought processes and, and even our evolution in our spiritual realm of thinking. So we're beyond minuscule things that uh, get us through or tie us through when it comes to believing in the Father. G-O-D, capital G-O-D. Can we sometimes be surprised and see a miracle happen if it's happening we can't see it and if we can't see it that means someone's covering it up but since God is G-O-D there's always a way to circumvent even the opposition so we still can see right no different from Black History Month I'm not really seeing anything that's being given because all this stuff is stuff we've already been doing So I don't think it's necessary. Black History Month should be something that's celebrated and lived in our souls 24-7, 365. A special month does not need to be taken out. I would like Black History Month to be abolished. Because Black History Month <laughs> is every day for the black person. We don't have to stuff and force our culture on anyone else just so they can see who we are because they already know. And it shows through people getting surgeries to make their butts big, lips big, from the music they're listening to, to the fashion, to trying to be more hip in any way, shape, or form that they are not. From the hairstyles, to even incorporating things that we do they do in their life some way to make some tweaks and improvements so it's, it's an obvious thing so we don't need to be having black history month i think it's a waste of time now um yeah so it's black history month i did want to wrap it up and do another african-american type video because i am african-american and this is how i feel and where i stand at this point in time in my life i don't hate black history month i don't think i despise it i just don't think it's relevant anymore and the things that are being displayed on tv about us is a day late and a dollar short because owning the business is no big thing <laughs> is right up there with, uh, with us being allegedly good at sports. Stereotypically good at sports, you know? It's right up there with that. We don't need Black History Month to show that we're great. We could've used this month talking about something else. <laughs> we really could've used this month campaigning something else. Not the election, neither. No, 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 not that, but Black History Month should be utilized for something else. It served its purpose. I think it's done. I do want to say more about this, but 
at this notion, I'm running out of words. So I'm going to wrap it up at the 10 minute mark. Perhaps I'll get the notion to say something else, but until then, my name is LA, pronounced like LA like the city. I'm not from there, but I'm breezy. So happy this is the last day of Black History Month. I don't think it needs to be celebrated and or acknowledged anymore because it's unnecessary. People already know who we are. We don't need to remind them who we are. Let's just get on with our lives, people. All right now.